Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Stack channel. So today we'll try to explore one more interview question. So the interview question which is related to the queues. So when you go here, uh, I mean the main, what is the difference between the queue, uh, get queue item and get transaction item. So we'll try to explore how it will works and what are the properties are in setful, we'll try to explore. So first of all, we'll try to go with the get transaction. I mean, I will drag the two <coughs> activities here. Later, uh, we'll go one by one. So this is the get transaction item. And after that, we have get queue item. Okay, so when you check in the names itself, we can identify the one thing. <clears throat> so it having the transaction item, it having the queues item. So when you check, it's it's a fetch only the one. It fetch multiples. When you see this yes, or ITMS and ITA. So now we'll go here. Uh, just hover on this. So you can see this couple of the difference here. Let me hover here. So when you check here, so get transaction item, get an item from the queue. So that you can process. For example, I have the 10 <coughs> uh, items are there in the queue. Okay. It fetch the one item and it change the status into the progress in progress. So once you get, so here, <coughs> sorry for that. So here, the thing is, uh, it will fetch only the one item and it will go for the next. So go and check here, get queue items. So what is this one? Let me go over here. So it retrieves a list of transactions items that are indicated in the queue. So whatever the transactions are available in the queue, now it will uh, fetch all things. So according to this multiple filters such as creation date, when you go and check the properties, it has some properties like you have apply the filters, those things. So now first we'll try to export this one and we'll go one. So, so you can select this anything from here. So as of now, I'm going with this one and I have the queue item is nothing but a test queue. So just uh, I have put something here in progress. So just I trying working that. So it got uh, to in progress mode. So now I will put this and later I will go to this properties. So under this properties, we can see this uh, filter strategy starts with or equals to that leave it as it is. And when you come here, transaction item, you can just update one variable. So now this is done. And similar way, when you go to get uh, queue items, the same thing, uh, I'm updating the same queue. Okay, now when I go to these properties, so when I go to these properties, I can see the multiple things filters. So when it got started, uh, I mean, if you want, you can select that particular data or you can pass this uh, variables to that. So as of now, I'm going uh, check with the only the in-progress data. So just assume that I'm going to in-progress data. Later, I will go, I will remove this uh, filter and I will show all the things. And I'm updating the one variable which has Q item. Okay, later I will keep one message box. So just I will put here checked. Okay, now uh, the coding has been completed. We'll go step by step, one by one. So we'll understand that. So first I'm running this one. Now when I go here, that next transaction queue item is this one. Okay, this one has to fetch and change the status to the new. Let me step into it got fetch and we'll check here whether it got fetch the same thing or another one. So transaction item so when i check here you can see this symbol is nest dot composite and you can see this composite nas this one nasdq composite and you can see this this is an index something which is related to the stocks so you can check here so this is a symbol and this is the name the same thing we can check here so when you go with the get transaction item, so mandate, you, you, you just remember that it fetch only one item from the queue. So the targeting here, the queue is the same queue. So we are not targeting two different queues. I'm targeting the same queue, which name as a test queue. So in the test queue, I have the bulk. So when I use the get transaction item, it will fetch only the one item at one time and change the status to the in progress. Okay that clear now i'm just removing this later i will go this uh, get queue items so we'll uh, let me step into what it will happen we'll check so now i will update here test queue okay not test queue uh, it's a uh, queue item so when i click here so what i apply the filter here i apply the filter as 
in progress so when i go and check as of now it has a two in progress let me refresh uh, it will make us three in progress okay now you can check so we got a three in progress now i will go and check what type of data is available here so i will just go to so you can check here so the list of queue item is three and if you want in detail uh, you can go with one by one so the name is SND, uh, snp 50 and next name is uh, where we can see this next name symbol okay dear john's industrial averages and next one is composite nasic composite so we can see this so this is a small differences uh, when intro will uh, might be the tricky uh, they will play some tricky on this but don't confuse that so when you go with the get transaction item it will fetch only the one item at once when you go to the get queue items so it will fetch multiples and you can apply the multiple filters here so right now i will put the in progress so i will just uh, keep it as successful so when i go and check here uh, in my few item if they have they don't have any successful cases or might be any failed cases so let me check that as well so i am disabling uh, this part this is not required as of now just we'll check that uh, get queue items okay and let me remove this data just for uh, clarity um, i will update queue item so when you check here so i don't have any data so that's why it's not retrieving any data so make sure that just remember uh, get transaction uh, item and queue items so when you go and check in the name itself having some small slight differences you need to observe that transaction item and queue items okay if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it Make sure to hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload.